Okay, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna multiply some binomials of complex numbers. And it's gonna be the exact same when you first learn to multiply binomials. And I don't know which way you've learned before. Let me see, am I gonna make, no, I'm not gonna make another video on this. Um, I do have some videos that I've made in my classes. But you know, there's a couple ways you can look at this. You can multiply binomials, you can use FOIL, um, you can use a square to, uh, or you know, a, rect a multiplying square to help you rectangle. And that's the way I'm gonna do it because for me, a lot of times I think the, the rectangle helps everything stay organized. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, once you get used to this, you don't need to use the square at all. You can just use foil, do it in your head, um, but this really helps you organize the information, all right? So six times two, what you're gonna do is, wow, I'm getting real quick, aren't I? You're gonna put one binomial top and then the other binomial on the other side. Now remember, multiplying, that's gonna produce us a product um, that's going to represent the area. So when representing one binomial on another binomial, I'm really representing the area inside of each square. So two times six is gonna be 12. Two times negative two i is negative four i. Six times negative three i is negative 18 i. And negative three i times negative two i is going to be a positive six i squared. Now it's important for us to remember a couple key points. When doing the rectangle, it's always nice because usually depending on what your binomials are, you'll notice you're gonna have common terms that you can combine. So I can combine a negative 18i minus four i, that's gonna give me a negative 22i. Then the next thing we need to remember is i squared, we're gonna have i squared represent, it doesn't represent, i squared, remember i represents squared to negative one, so i squared is equal to negative one. So I can now rewrite, instead of i squared, I can rewrite um, negative one, six times negative one is actually a negative six. So when I write out all these out, you can just write everything out if you want to. 12 minus 4i minus 18i plus 6i squared. However, ladies and gentlemen, the more and more you do this, the more and more practice you get, you end up getting 12 minus 22i and then minus six. So then you can get six minus 22i. Make sure that we leave our um, leave our complex number in standard form, a plus bi, where a equals six and b equals negative 22. Make sure we do that and you're good. There you go, that's all you need.